Boolean operators. It sounds a bit complicated, but I assure you it's not. A Boolean operator is basically a way of saying and, or, or. So and, or, or. Quite hard to say. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is create a sample, a very basic lottery application. We're asking the user for a number between 1 and 10. If the user enters a 3 or a 7, then they've won. They've won. They've won the lottery. So let's have a look how we can implement this. So if you say the sentence out loud, it's pretty much telling you what you need to do. So if the user, that's implied, picks a number, which is 3, a quality for 3, or, now or is represented by two vertical pipes like this, not 1, 2. I don't know why, it's just how it is. So if the number, if the number is equal to 3, or <laughs> the number is equal to 7. It's very simple when you say it out loud, it's pretty much telling you what you need to write. Then I want to tell the user they've won, they've won the lottery, they've picked the lucky number. So let's take a look at this. Pick a number between 1 and 10. Um, 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 3. You've won. You've won. And let's prove it's not a fluke. Let's type in number 2. Nothing happens. That's because we haven't told it to do anything. So that's a very basic example of using the OR operator. And you, you, you can use more than one. You can use four if you would like. So if the user picks 3, 4, or 9, for example, perfectly works. Now you have four lucky numbers. Uh, so that's the OR operator, that's called what's called a Boolean operator. Uh, and the other Boolean operator is the opposite, it's the AND one, and that's represented by two ampersands. That one makes more sense, is that, at least that means AND, but you need two of them. So with the AND operator, what we can do, we can say if the number is not equal to 2, and it's not equal to 7, for example, then they've won. <laughs> so what we can do, if the number is not equal to 2, and the number is not equal to 7. Because 2 and 7 are bad numbers. If you choose 2 and 7, you've lost everything, for example. So as long as the number is not 2, and the number is not 7, then you've won. And that's how you can use the AND operator. And you can see the logic kind of reverses to the one we've just used with the OR operator. Now we're using NOT equal to. But the same kind of logic applies. So when we run the application now, as long as we don't pick 2 or 7, we've won. So let's pick 4. You can see we've won. However, if we pick 2 or a 7, it's not going to do anything because we haven't told it to do anything. So that's a very basic example of using uh, Boolean operators like the OR and the AND. And again, with these, you can expand it and do four numbers if you wish. And what we can do with ORs AND AND operators, we can combine them as well. So let's look at a quick example how we can combine ANDs AND ORs. <laughs> So let's ask for the user's name. So we're going to ask for the user's name and take the user's name in. Now let's pretend that Bob only has access to the lottery application that we're doing here. He's the only one with the authority to play the lottery. So what we want to do is say, is the user's name Bob and does he have the number 2 or 7? And that's sort of an example of how we can use ands and ors together. But the point is the whole thing will either evaluate to true or false. That's the main point of the condition here. So is the name equal to Bob? And does he have the number 2 or 7? So I'm going to put 2 or 7 in parentheses here. So it's actually a lot more readable and it's, it's going to make sense. And it's going to calculate correctly as well. <laughs> so um, is the user's name Bob? Yes. And does Bob have the number 2 or 7? Yes, let's say he has 7. Then he's 1. Let's say um, the person's name's Henry. Okay. Is the name Henry? Uh, is the name Bob? No, it's Henry. 
Okay, no, then it's just going to skip down here. So th let's test the theory. So what is your name? Henry. Then let's put a number. No, let's put the lucky number. I think seven is one of them. Then nothing happens because it's it's not Bob. Only Bob has permission to, you know, potentially win the lottery here. So let's put Bob in. Let's give him a lucky number. And he's won. Just like that. And lastly, let's do Bob with an unlucky number, which is definitely 44. <laughs> Nothing happens. So you can see this is how it evaluates this whole condition with an AND Boolean operator and also an OR one. And it's good to use parentheses as well to make sure A, it calculates correctly, and 2, it improves readability as well.